Hello folks, today I will be talking about some of the important salient features of neonatal seizures which you should remember especially if you are in a postgraduate examination in viva or you are appearing for your uh, pediatric exams. So remember the first thing about neonatal seizures. Many people they would ask whether there are generalized tonic-clonic convulsion in seizures. No. First of all, there is no generalized tonic-clonic seizures in neonates. Reason because there is incomplete myelination. So number one, the neurons are incompletely myelinized. So the abnormal impulses cannot like travel globally over the cerebral hemispheres to cause generalized tonic-clonic convulsions. So the reason number one being that there is incomplete myelinization and incomplete arborization. So these, because of these two reasons, the seizures in neonates are not generalized tonic-clonic. So the seizures in neonates, majority of them are subtle natures, uh, subtle seizures like, for example, smacking lip movements, uh, cyclical movements, swimming-like movements. Then there are tonic seizures, there are clonic seizures, and there are myoclonic seizures. So these are the type of seizures. So even if they've got like jerking, they would be clonic seizures. So apart, like for example, the upper or the lower limb would jerk. So these are known as clonic seizures. So remember, the first important thing is that there are no generalized tonic clonic seizures in neonates because of incomplete uh, myelinization and incomplete arborization. So the, 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 the most common seizures in neonates are subtle seizures. So they can have abnormal eye movements like repeated uh, wrinkling of the eyes, okay, blinking of the eyes. They can have abnormal um, mouth movements like uh, chewing, uh, yawning, these types of movements. Or sometimes they can have brief periods of apnea as well. Remember, apnea is one of the manifestations of seizures in neonates. So apnea can have a variety of reasons. Apnea can be because of respiratory reasons. Apnea can be because of CNS regions like um, uh, seizures. And apnea can be because of certain uh, uh, infectious uh, reasons as well. For example, bronchiolitis, or it can be even because of uh, metabolic conditions. Remember, most common uh, manifestation of hypoglycemia in neonates is apnea. So remember, apnea is the most common manifestation of what of hypoglycemia in neonates, or they can have abnormal limb movement, like clonic clonic uh, variety of the seizures they cause, like abnormal limb movements. Another important thing is to differentiate these seizures from jitteriness. Now, jitteriness can be stopped. So if jitteriness seems like a very fine, rapid, jerky movements of the limbs, which start suddenly, but if you try to hold the limb, they these these type of uh, shakiness it ties down while remember in seizures it would never happen so if it can be suppressed by physical stimulus like holding or stretching the limb then it is jitteriness and remember jitteriness can be again caused because of hypoglycemia hypocalcemia maternal withdrawal and there are some other reasons as well the another important thing is to know whether this apnea especially be, because if it's apnea apnea becomes a bit tricky because Obviously, if there are abnormal jerky clonic movements or tonic posturing, then you know that most uh, probably the reason is there in the central nervous system. But if the child is having periods of apnea, then it becomes a bit difficult because most of the time when there is apneic spells, you'll be probably thinking of uh, either metabolic reasons or probably uh, respiratory reasons. So uh, remember, if apnea is a manifestation of uh, seizures, if it happens so if you attach the monitors you will see that with those apneic spells there would be tachycardia the heart rate would increase so if you see a child who is having apneic spells and the heart rate is rising that is most probably because of seizures or central nervous system related causes but if a child is having spells of bradycardia associated with the uh, apnea so as he becomes apneic, the heart rate falls, then it is most probably because of respiratory reasons. So remember, apnea with tachycardia, mostly central nervous system uh, causes, especially seizures. Apnea with bradycardia, most probably respiratory reasons. Again, there could be a variety of respiratory reasons. It could be bronchiolitis, it could be pertussis or whatever, like, you know, the list is a big one. Just you should remember one or two common reasons which are, you know, can be either seasonal or depending on the history, uh, certain things are more common. So these are the few things 
that you should remember regarding neonatal seizures again it's a big topic what causes them uh, how they are treated that's a different thing but these are some of the contentious things that you should know about neonatal seizures that number one there are never generalized tonic clonic uh, seizures because of incomplete myelinization so what you see is mostly subtle seizures or tonic posturing or clonic uh, seizures or myoclonic jerks types of apnea can be a manifestation but if your apnea is because of seizures there would always be a tachycardia but if apnea is because of uh, respiratory uh, related uh, reasons then it would be associated with bradycardia and if you see something which might mix generalized tonic clonic and it can be suppressed by physical activity that's most probably jitteriness which can, can be caused by hypoglycemia uh, hypocalcemia maternal withdrawal and some of the other reasons so these are the few um, brief nuggets about neonatal seizures that you need to remember for your exam purposes and that gives you an edge over the other candidates as well so hope you have liked this video please give me a thumbs up if you have liked it and if you've learned something new have a very good day take care and bye bye